bit. I'm getting fouled out again. I'm exposed because I'm right on the edge of cliff. Hello, welcome to another video. I've looked out with the weather and I couldn't be happier. There's no long distance hiking. I'm just coming out with my new tent and keeping under the stars. And it's a joy. I've got plenty of time, so I'm just gonna take my time. There's gonna be a lot of me just doing not much at all. But I'm gonna get the tent set up and we'll have a little look around that. And it'll be my first night in it, so I'm excited. Stay tuned. well doesn't she yeah looks well one of the great things about this tent is this cliff man you just open it up instead of rolling it up it just clicks onto the external frame jobs are good and look the usual suspects i've got my thermarest x therm extra large my rab ascent 900 sleeping bag my decathlon pillow i'm loving this really comfy. I've just got some spare clothes, a camping meal, kind of this stuff, we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, some water. <laughs> I've not done this style of camping for a while. Oh, you want me? Cardinal sin with shoes on, but I'm looking forward to it. Plenty of room down the side for your bag. There's no way though, I'm, I'm not having it as a two man tent. A two man at a push at a push. It's definitely more of a spacious one man, one and a half man, one man and his dog. Let's get these vents open as well. I have been caught out before around here with wind and that. So that's why I've brought my delta pegs and put them in on all four corners and then pegged everything out. So hopefully if wind does pick up, it won't. <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere. Right, gonna have a bit of bait because I'm hungry. Oh, I smell good, man. There we are, look. Homemade scotch egg, which it's wild garlic actually. I picked some wild garlic and knocked up a scotch egg. I've made a separate video on this that is either out now or is coming out, so you can check that out if you want to, um, if you want the recipe or how to do it. Or you can just check out my Instagram, there's a, a one minute reel on there that'll show you. Whoa, let's get stuck into it. Should we get you down for cut? Oh, I can't get camera right down there, so I'm up here dealing with it. This is the knife for this camp out. The Puko knife, custom built by Luke over at York Knife. I will be raffling this off, and the raffle actually for this ends this Sunday. If you want to be in for a chance of winning, I'll leave a link below. There's this, my silky big boy, and a Grants vs Brooks axe. So all the bushcraft cutting tools you need, and it's only three quid a ticket, and a percent of that does go to Mental Health UK. So I do thank you and a good luck to all that enter. Right, let's get on with this skeg, man. Not as crispy because it's been a, it's been in the fridge a little bit. That's sharp, that like. Perfect big reveal. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There you go, man. Spot on. You can smell the wild garlic in there. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, mm. Temperature's dropped a little bit now. The sun's on its way down. Hopefully I'll just get a nice blast of colour over there. 
But enough of that. Let's have a little goose at this, look. John Peeler. It's been a while, hasn't it? Look at this. Lemmy Lamau, artist, designer. There she is. There she be. Blueberry, cherry, pineapple and passion fruit. Okay. But also, guess what? There's a twist here. Don't judge me. It's not point... F it's coming in at a whopping 0.5% alcohol. So it's basically... It's, it's an alcohol-free. Alcohol-free beverage from Northern Monk. Mash Gang and Meow. Collaboration. Whee! Oh, it's red. Red, can you see that? Juicy, mate. Yeah, I didn't feel like having a beverage of an alcoholic beverage. I just want to enjoy myself and uh, feel fresh tomorrow. I've got plenty on. Woo! Drive by, it's been a while, hasn't it? What I do when I do this is when I, when I drive by, I squeeze can a little bit to get blast you in face with all uh, melted ice pops. Penny sweets. Woof. That's nice. It's still got an ale vibe to it as well. Like, um, it's like a fruity shandy. Like a fruit shandy. Quite delicious and you can have as many of them as you, mind you, it doesn't look like beer, does it? If, so if you're having a pint of that out in town, you might as well have a, just a juice. It should go into, um, into soft drinks game northern monk if you're watching i aren't really going to review it because it's not got it's not a, it's not a beer is it really but as far as drinks go that is nice i've just been lying in the tent for about well two or three hours i haven't been filming or anything but i've had all this door open and i've been lying down the sun's just been directly blasting in my tent maybe even had a little half an hour snooze with sun on my face perfectness i'm hoping one of the reasons why i chose to come out here and i it was because I checked the weather and it was going to be a semi-clear night. So I was hoping to get a bit of a sunset. It doesn't look like it's going to because there's a lot of thick cloud over there. But um, it still looks beautiful anyway. And it's a full moon tonight. So I'll hopefully catch that bad boy rising out of the sea behind me. And then we'll hopefully catch a sunrise in the morning. Because that's why I've come out. Just to capture some skies and get some nice footage. Because I'm not hiking and I'm not doing anything like that. So when I come on these camps, I like to test my equipment and I like to uh, to film some nice things, which I'm doing. I'm testing tent out and I love it. I'm going to do a a final thoughts on it after spending night in it. But it feels nice. I mean, it is the perfect conditions for it. I don't have much waffle to give you or banter out. I'm just going to sit here, drink me non-alcoholic beverage, and appreciate these views. Regarde. That's why they call it the wind master, look. So even though the wind's blowing, as you can see on there, it's still quite a localised flame and it's not going out. I've got my Aclima Merino wool layer on and then a down layer with my Rab jacket and me uh, what are these, Nature Hike down pants, Merino socks on Tramp's beanie that I found in a garage about 15 years ago <laughs> Still going strong, got holes in it and despite Fern's protests, I'm keeping it 
because it's uh, <laughs> it's worth more than money to me, even though I look homeless in it. Uh, temperature's dropped, but it's not like I'm not. <laughs> it's not. It's not like. It's not hug your food cold, you know, like like that. But it hasn't been in the past. It's just it's just nice actually, and I've got I'm so layered up, and the heather that's on here as well gives a little bit of protection from the ground. I know I certainly won't be cold tonight, unless something tragic happens and temperatures drop and wind picks up. But it's not forecast, and I'm not expecting it. But I'm prepared for it. That's it, man. I don't. You don't even need to see me eat this, do you? Because it's just. It's not a good one. No matter how long I seem to leave it, the little beefy bits still were quite crunchy and not very nice on palate. Oh, let me get my little lantern on. Oh, I've got a new one of these. I'll show you this quickly. I've done a video on it. The new Flextail Micro Pump. Whoa, there it is. Look at that. That's the brightest. Woo. Mate, that's well good. Dangle that in wigwam and you're good to go. Obviously not on the, on the strongest light, but there you go, look. That is good times, isn't it? They gave they give me a discount code if you want one of these. Um, as you'll know, I've been using this since uh, for years in different. I've had the uh, I've had the last three, and this is the the newer model. I think it's Hazy 15. I'll leave it on here. Um, I'll leave a link below as well if you want to go and grab yourself one and get yourself 15% off. It's definitely worth it. It's one of my favourite bits of kit. Comes with me on all my hikes. I've done a proper video on it as well, which you can check out on my second channel if you want. I'm dressed like a flexi tail pump at the moment, aren't I? Right, that's bright, so <laughs> I'll be quick. Time to hit the hay. It's lovely and warm. I've got my sleeping bags open, just lying on top of me. Nice and comfortable. Um, right, unless something magic or tragic happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. I've just, I've got out and put some rocks down and doubled up my pegs, just tightened all the guy lines. It's just like a constant. It's pushing against there. <laughs> Not flapping as much now that I've tied it all down. I've even put pegs in these extra bits knit doors. this before on here because I'm exposed. I'm exposed because I'm right on the edge of cliff on this high bit and oh, even though the forecast doesn't say it's gonna the wind's quite strong now. I mean this is the acid test for the tent in it. If it was uh my old Alak 2 I'd feel a little bit more comfortable but there's a cliff just down there and I don't want to get blown off it. I've got my delta peg so I'm sure it won't fail there, but I just don't know because I don't know what the tent do I, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to get it back in it and uh, just see how it fares and then if, it, if the wind keeps persisting or it gets worse, then I'll have to up, up my tent and get to the other side and get to that bottom just to get out of this wind from up here. Oh, it makes you nervous, especially when you're on the edge of this, you know, if it drags me off there, that's it, innit? Game over. Oh, it is a bit nerve wracking, so you get a bit uh, bit anxious and it's hard to get to sleep because you think that obviously <coughs> noise isn't too great, but it's proper folding in on itself. Anyway, it's freezing, I better get back in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Game of two halves, mate. Game of two halves last night. We're blowing a gale. 
and at some points I thought I was going to end up in drink. It just like that, it just stopped and became as it is now. There's no waves, there's no wind, it's still as man. And look at this sunrise. I did set my alarm for half five so that I could get up and just really appreciate the morning. And I think you'll agree, it's pretty stunning, man. La North Sea. It's ever changing at the moment, look at it. Just peace out, guys, yeah? Peace and love, guys. It's the end of the world at the palm of my hand. And when it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my backs to the light. The end of the world at the palm of my hand When it all goes to hell, will you still be my friend? My face to the sea and my back to the land If you can't come with me Glorious day. The wind was strong last night. This was folding in, but it held really well. Obviously the delta pegs do their thing. What I did in the night, I came out and each door has this extra attachment point on it. So I attached the doors down and I was wondering what this second clip was. So there's one clip for when, you, when the doors aren't attached down this clip will go over and attach to the external frame but there's another one down here and I was wondering what it was for I couldn't figure it out but it's for when you've got the doors attached that fits perfectly on there and gives you a smaller door really good at first when it all started flapping around and folding in I was like oh my god what's going on here but once I'd got up tightened all the guy lines down and attached these points it was pretty much solid obviously all tents are gonna uh, bow a little bit in the wind but it was it was solid and I felt safe and that's the main thing with these doors and then the wind just dropped off and I managed to get a good few hours kip but yeah it's first night it did get a test I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna get a proper test and then it did so I'm happy and it passed with flying colours. Very impressed. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Right, still early doors. Ah, oh, man, I feel good. That's where I was. Leave no trace. We're off. Glad I've got big jacket on. Oh, one last look over here, man. And then we'll call it. Glorious day. I'll leave links to everything I've used below if you want to check it out. There's a few discounts below um, that you can grab yourselves. And if you want to be in with a chance to win the Hayes knife and the, 
the silky saw and the Grantsvis Brooks axe you can uh, enter below as well <laughs> Food for the soul, mate. And we'll leave it here. Take care of yourselves. As always, I send you now, but love. I'll see you soon.